state of the bay. Some of you will the Biosphere Reserve tracks the health of Georgian Bay's fish in the State of the Bay report card. But unlike water quality, which is mostly still pristine, the story of how the fish are doing is more complicated, largely due to the impact of invasive species. Native fish living close to the shore that are popular for sport fishing, like bass and pike, seem to be doing well, even learning to eat invasive species like the round gobi. But for fish important to commercial fishermen in the deep waters of Georgian Bay, things are very different. As we start to move into the offshore waters of Georgian Bay, we see some you know, really catastrophic failures of the food web out there based on these incoming invasive species, like nowadays the quagga mussel and previously the uh, zebra mussel before it. And you've got these mussels at the bottom of the lake in the trillions, taking the food away from little minnows and bait fish that the larger fish would eat all the way up the food web. Now that food isn't there for the, uh, the top predator species, and it's being described by the ministry scientists as a biological desert. Today, only a small fraction of the historic populations of commercial fish species like lake trout and whitefish remain in Georgian Bay due to overfishing and invasive species. <laughs> 